Okay, in this uh, YouTube video, we're going to talk about how to uh, use the microphone uh, in the Radio Boss standard uh, version 4.7.3.4, but I think it's the same in, in any of the uh, newer versions or the older versions. Um, right now, we've got uh, an audio feed going, so just whatever. Let's play this one and if you wanted to talk over it while it is uh, streaming um, you can just hit the microphone button and just talk and while you're talking it is voicing over the audio file and you can hear an echo because uh, it's playing over the radio boss as well as what I'm recording here with the video capture but anyhow so let's uh, dim that up okay so uh, to make sure that the microphone is working, you have to make sure under settings and options under the microphone and line in that your device is, is the proper device that you're talking into. Now on mine, I've got a, a, a USB Yeti stereo microphone, so that's what I have selected. On uh, a lot of my clients, they have the 8-track or the 8-track, uh, 8-channel uh, at least USB mixer you'd want to make sure that that is selected in here because if it's not you'll be talking and nothing will be heard so again if you want to talk over you just click that and you're, you're talking whatever uncheck it it stops now you can also use this software which is really really cool to uh, create radio commercials so uh, let's do one real quick you are listening to John's YouTube podcast on how to use Radio Boss. Uh, it's a great software package, so go out and buy it. Okay, so there's what I just recorded. So if we wanted to get rid of all this dead air, we can delete everything before the cursor and delete everything after the cursor. So there. We can play it you back. Are listening to John's YouTube podcast on how to use Radio Boss. Uh, it's a great software package, so go out and buy it. Okay, so I'll just say that's what we want. We can save it. Very important to save it where you know you can find it. So I'm going to save it on the desktop called uh, Radio Boss. Okay, so it's saved. Now, if I want to insert it as a jingle, which is like a commercial that we can manually play, we're going to assign it. Uh, where is it? What did I call it? I called it Radio Boss. There it is. Hit OK. And if we want to listen to it, so there's the audio. We can actually go to Jingles. Okay, so what it did was it just talked over the the audio of the the uh, the soundtrack here. Um, there's settings on on how how loud the music level is. Um, you're gonna have to play with this to find out exactly how you like like your um, um, music level to sound while you're talking. So actually, if we moved it down and we're listening to it, and I click microphone, you see now I'm a lot louder than the uh, music being played. And if we do the uh, jingle. Okay, so the jingle the jingle does not um, voice over um, louder or or uh, the music doesn't play softer while you're playing the jingles. So there's got to be somewhere in here to adjust that. I just don't know exactly where it is now. Now you can also um, so we recorded the voice track. You can also put the voice track in here. So right here, I have um, set 
uh, every five minutes play that so we can actually change that to um, radio boss so what it's going to do is every five minutes it's going to play that insertion and it will um, overlay the playback so set playback level uh, this event will be played within the owner's player together with the playlist okay so what will happen is in 17 seconds if we put this up um, it should kick in Okay, so it did play, um, but again, the, the level is really low, so there's there's got to be a setting here to tweak it, or maybe my uh, recording was way too low. So somewhere in the settings here, um, playback device, miscellaneous, it's probably somewhere, mute level, fade in and out. Somewhere in here, uh, under fading, playlist volume when playing a cart. Do not cross fade short tracks. Do not fade out tracks in the playlist in manual mode. Okay, well somewhere in there you can adjust it. So, like I said, if you're you're playing it, so you can actually pause it and then play the jingle. And there you go. So that's how I just manually played a commercial, pausing the song, or I can pause it, hit the microphone button, and talk uh, while I'm on the air. And you can hear my voice, and you can see it right here. And then when I'm done, or I can talk over the music, and I can fade it out. And that's how you use the uh, microphone. Um, very cool software. There's a lot of bells and whistles in here that I'm still trying to figure out and learn how to do it. Um, but uh, that's it. Like, for instance, if you wanted to add um, a website stream like this one, but you wanted to add it in here, you can type it uh, MMS. Okay, so there it is. WTAN and just say we want to play for five minutes we can actually insert it here so what will happen is uh, let's move this over okay so let's see if it uh Oh, I got it on shuffle, sorry. Okay, so it's going to play this Ocean Lab. If you right mouse click on it, you don't left mouse click, but you right mouse click and it'll play there. So right now, it's buffering and that's what it's doing. It, it's actually gone out to the internet, picked up the uh, internet feed, and is uh, streaming it, So which, which is really cool. So it'll play that for five minutes, and then I'll go back to the playlist. So if you've got a bunch of website addresses that you like your music, you can actually insert it all in here as a playlist. It's a very, very, very cool utility on uh, streaming internet-related stations um, outside your playlist. And that's about it. Hopefully you've enjoyed... Uh, this uh, video or audio tutorial and hopefully it's made your life a little bit easier again I'm not a pro at it I'm just learning it but it's a very very cool software package if you like it go out and buy it radio boss standard rocks